Hello. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we got some gems. We got some Abercrombie, Nike, Kenzo Paris, and a bunch of other pickups. Let's get started, shall we? So we're just gonna dive right into it and talk about my Abercrombie pickups. I did make a video already on the best Abercrombie pickups, but Abercrombie just released some more stuff for spring summertime. And so we'll start off with the sleeveless tees. I think I have it backwards. The sleeveless tee. So spring is already here. Right now in Vegas is basically summertime. We just hit the 90s. And these sleeveless tees are gonna be a big part of my wardrobe. I'm currently wearing one right now. And what I love about this piece is it's just not as douchey as wearing a regular tank top. Plus, I love the shape of this more it's basically just the shape of a regular t-shirt with the sleeves cut off hence the sleeveless tee now it's not extremely cut off like those gym douchebags where they have the whole entire rib showing i hate when dudes do that at least get a stringer or something so yeah like i said it's just a regular tee but it's one of those boxy cut tees so this does give your fit some unique shapes and visual interest and it especially looks good when you're in shape you work out you train a little bit just because it opens up your clothing options we can wear slim fit clothes and oversized clothes it doesn't matter now here's a regular tank versus the sleeveless tee there's a big difference this also has a cropped cuts which i appreciate for those about to ask i'm five foot seven 169 pounds slim muscular build and i've got two colors the wash black and the standard gray the standard gray is a medium and the wash black is a large both look good on me they both fit well remember this is supposed to be a boxy cut so you kind of want it to be a little bit more loose as far as styling goes you cannot beat these with some wide fit pants and utilizing accessories like jewelry and headwear to complete the fit to me this is mandatory for summertime i'd highly recommend it Next up, we got some more cropped pieces and that is the cropped vintage shirt. I got two colorways, again with the wash black and then we got a stone blue as well. Now, I think these might be separate products or the same, I have no idea. The wash black seems to have a normal hem while the stone blue seems to have a cut off ribbed edge one. But anyways, these are perfect for those on the shorter side. It's gonna fit your proportions much better like me. And this has a similar fit to the Uniqlo U oversized Arism tees. I would just treat them exactly the same, but depending on your style, you might lean towards one or the other. I personally have both. I like Uniqlo. I like Abercrombie's pieces. Abercrombie does lean more towards that streetwear casual side, while Uniqlo U leans towards that casual minimal side. You can wear both for any style. You'll just see that Abercrombie has more vintage streetwear type colors. And really, that's the difference between these two brands. This does have an inside out stitching as well. But I will say, Uniqlo U Airism tees are probably better for the summertime. Airism is just a much better technology and it's cheaper as well. But if you like a good washed vintage tee, definitely roll with Abercrombie. I also picked up their cargo pants as well if you watched my Abercrombie video, so I don't wanna talk too much about it. Just know that it's got a nice relaxed fit cut, a cool wash. Let's keep it moving. So we're gonna space out my clothing pickups. It's still related to clothing, and that is my new clothing rack. You really can't go wrong with this, especially if you live in New York City like I did. You know, you pay $3,000 a month for an apartment and you might, you might get a walk-in closet. So yeah, these kill two birds with one stone clothing storage and decor and you can construct it in five minutes that's how easy it was to set up personally i just use it for videos but you can use it to decorate your space now next up we have this piece from kenzo r.i.p to a legend so fortunately because of y'all support i did get these gifted to me for a different sponsorship shout out to y'all that's for a different video this video isn't sponsored at all the color is described as an almond green but it's more of a mint color it's definitely in that pastel space especially with that white stitching just a subtle touch that makes it look so much better and when you style lighter colors with this pastel style piece chef's kiss this has a wide fit cut which pairs well with a lot of sneakers the color the shape the pocket design it's just visually interesting this will definitely make you stand out and it's something that you can wear all year round as well and finally we got some really wide fit pants from traject by idol idol this was gifted to me as well full transparency i am friends with the owner and i just love supporting their brand but yeah this fits that soft boy look it's a super wide fit cut and what i love most about this is that it really cinches in around the waist gets really wide and balloon fit towards the end so it gives your fits a lot of shape a lot of dimension and you can't beat the pocket design man you got the regular pockets you got a foam pocket and you got these deep cargo zip pockets plus you have the ability to cinch the cuff so there's just many ways to style this pair of pants if you're really into wide fit pants you definitely can't beat this piece i think it would also look great with this sleeveless tee as well next up are the nike mountain fly twos so i currently don't have them on me right now they are coming in tomorrow and so the rest of this voiceover is going to be in the future okay so this is johnny a day later what's up these are low tops and as you can see by the name of the shoe, these are meant for hiking. When I lived in New York City, it was always hard for me to go hiking, which is something I really enjoyed. I'm from New Mexico, there's a lot of trails, and you know, I'd have to drive like two hours up to the Catskills, which is fine, I just didn't do it as much. Currently here in Vegas, there's plenty of mountains to hike, and this is perfect. First off, I gotta say, these are mad comfortable. Super thick foam midsole, and it's also quite breathable, which I really like. Check these out compared to the previous mountain fly lows. 
big difference. I love the ACG branding, the little color pops, and just has a really cool profile. Of course, you guys know I'm gonna style this in a more tech wear look. I think it's just that perfect piece to really complete that cyberpunk vibe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. All right, guys, as you can see, this is a reshoot. I actually had a lot more stuff come in. Stuff I purchased, stuff that was gifted to me. I just wanna showcase some more to you guys. So, as you can see right here, we have this Noragi from Akashi Kama. So a lot of people think this is a Kamino, but it's actually a Noragi, which is inspired by American streetwear with that traditional Japanese cut. And this one is just beautiful. I love the patchwork. It's not actual patchwork from different fabrics. It's just already built into the stitching and you have these traditional, I actually don't know what they're called to be honest, but you can leave them dangling or you can tie it around your waist. I love the metal tip branding. It makes it feel super premium. I got this in a size large and it is a little bit too long in the sleeves. Nothing a tailor can't fix though. And I just love the way it looks when layered underneath a tank top. I'm wearing a beanie in this video, even though it's summer because my hair is getting really long. I'm getting a cut tomorrow. But yeah, this one specifically has gray and olive undertones, which is makes it a very versatile piece for spring, summer, fall, all year round. And I would just say this has the shape of a blazer just without the lapels and buttons. It looks really good. Y'all definitely got to check them out. They got some good stuff. So keeping it moving, I actually got this belt system. It should be magnetic right here. There you go. So this belt system is from Orbit Gear. You guys know I love this brand a lot. And I got this alongside with their keychain system. So let's start with the keychain. This one comes with a D ring, which actually can attach to the belt. It can attach to your belt loops if you're not wearing a belt. And the coolest aspect about this is just the design. Love the color scheme. It has a sort of mole system for the key rings. But what's really cool is it's magnetic. So it just detaches just like that magnetically attaches. It's super convenient. The D-ring is secure. The magnet is secure. It doesn't come off. And if you decide to leave the D-ring attached to this belt, the other side actually has a little carabiner portion. So you can still use this side to clip to your belt loop. But yeah, let's talk about the belts. So this belt is actually magnetic. So just magnetically snaps together super easy. And the coolest part about this belt is there's a mole system to it. So a mole system is like Legos for tactical dudes. You can attach whatever you want to it as long as there's mole straps. You can add additional pouches, a Velcro pad so you can snap some stuff onto there. It can get pretty creative, man. But really, I'm just gonna wear this as a fashion statement. This does have this extra little strap right here. So it does give you that extended belt look, which is always great for the summertime. You can still layer your fits without adding any extra heat at all. And yeah, overall, this is dope. Next piece is actually a collaboration between the homie Stevie Sal and Article Goods. And that's this leather tote bag right here. This is such a clean piece with that all black pebble leather. There's plenty of space for storage and it even comes with an additional pouch right here that's attached to the bag. That way you can always dig it out whenever your bag is full. And a detail I never thought about until I saw this bag are the handles. There's actually two sets of handles there's a longer one like this so you can sling around your shoulder and then there's shorter ones right here so that you can actually carry it without it scraping on the ground so it's those little details that i really appreciate and if you take a look at the bottom of these there's these two metal bars to keep it stable on the ground instead of completely flattening out and i also love how it snaps together magnetically and then another piece that i got is this piece right here from j crew this actually looks like a piece that would come from ald amy leon door it's just a simple cam collar with a really nice texture super breathable and it's not a pure white color. There is a hint of cream. And even though this is a more fitted piece for the summertime, I don't really care. I'll wear oversized slim fit. And then our final piece right here, which is a pair of Vans. I still love Vans. I wear them all the time still. They definitely peaked around the Jerry Boy era, but these are super clean. These are actually exclusive. Vans itself doesn't even sell this on their websites. So these are only exclusive to certain stores and J. Crew is one of them. So what I appreciate about these types of Vans is there's no black stripe surrounding the outsole of the shoe. I never really liked that look i just liked a clean white outsole is it outsole or midsole i think I might be wrong on that. But anyways, the outside of the shoe, I like it when it's all white. You see that with the vault lineup of Vans. So it's really cool seeing it with this one. And this one has an olive suede colorway with cream laces. It's beautiful. You can't really go wrong with this sneaker, to be honest. They do have a navy version that actually looks dope as well. And if you guys haven't tried out a pair of Vans like these without the black stripe, the more premium feel, you're really missing out. So fellas, those have been my pickups lately. Big announcements. I just started my own Discord community. If you guys want to submit your outfit for a Rate Your Outfit series, there's a chat for that in the discord so go ahead and click that first link down in the description join my discord called the studio and you guys can kick it with me like you're chilling in my studio right now until then fellas stay fly deuces